Hello everyone, welcome to Pluto's Mic. My name is Akila. I'm talking to you guys about Pluto going direct on October 6th this year. Um, for those of you that don't know, Pluto has been retrograding since April the 26th of 2021. And it's really been testing a lot of us internally. Um, the tarot card that I got for Pluto retrograding uh, and going direct is the Seven of Cups. And that card is really about seeing through illusions, uh, getting through, uh, dealing with temptations, um, and just having our shadow side uh, be uh, more apparent. So I want to talk a little bit about the fact that Pluto is retrograding on the 24th degree of Capricorn, and the Sabian symbol for that, for that degree is the ability to develop inner strength. Okay, it's basically about new ways of responding to basic life situations. And um, I mean, Pluto is going to be doing a lot right after it goes um, direct in Capricorn. So a lot of uh, cardinal signs can feel this like Capricorns, Libras, uh, uh, Cancers and Aries. You can feel a shift happening probably if you're very sensitive to the energy. But Pluto is going to be doing um, a lot of things after it even goes direct. It's going to be there's a new moon in Libra on the day that Pluto goes direct, which tells me that there's a big shift in um, what we're doing, how we're relating. Um, Then there's a tough conversation with Mercury, another tough conversation with the sun and then Mars. So it's like Pluto is going through. I feel like a a a, a list of running down things you know running you know it's like as Pluto goes direct it's focusing on the things that it needs to really work on where it's uh Mercury could be something with our mental the way we think um the sun could be with our identity our, our body um like and Mars can just be how we move you know physically how we how we're putting our our efforts into the world that may be channel channeled differently um, with the Seven of Cups as the tarot card, I just think that a lot of, of us have been dealing with like our kryptonite. What is your kryptonite, you know? I know uh, during this transit, a lot of things happened with me that I had to really, it was tough and I had to really work on, okay, what is my kryptonite? I need to stop doing certain things. And it was as simple as small habits that I have that I just need to stop. Um, that are not like benefiting me, you know, that's as as simple as that. But it also took me looking at a lot of deep things like, oh, from, you know, just from childhood and how things from your upbringing can develop certain habits in you that are not really that um, healthy, but that was your coping mechanism. You know what I'm saying? So that was something that I was going through that I'm still going through with this Pluto, um, going direct. I am a Scorpio. Anybody that has strong Plutonian energy in their chart, understands how addictions or things that get in the way of us seeing clearly can be um a focus right now or looking at things that um that we choose to put in front of us so that we won't have to see the real picture and um that's why i feel like there's such gonna this pluto is gonna go through such a tough time just after it goes retrograde because it's gonna be going through like a cleansing pl- process with all these planets that it's gonna be touching so I'm really looking forward to this transit. I hope you guys are too. Um, write your experiences. Share if you have any experiences of Pluto um, retrograding during this time. Anything that became um, very apparent to you. Uh, anything that was more obvious to you also. And what kind of temptations or just bad habits have you been dealing with since this planet has been retrograde and um, now going direct that you can um you can speak on so thank you guys for listening i'll see you guys in the next video